Hi, boys and girls, it's Mrs. Daniels, and I am sharing this video with you uh, because you were not at your small group today. So you missed my lesson on how we're going to be doing the Daily Five online from now on. So please watch carefully. Um, I would suggest having a grown up with you um, so they can help you with any confusing parts or they can let me know if there's any questions about the video. So um, when you log in every day to Google Classroom from now on, under our daily work, um, so for today it would have been Monday, January 25th, for Tuesday it'll be Tuesday, January 26th, etc. You are going to see these four choices, word work, listen to reading, work on writing, and read to self. And I'm going to show you what happens when you click on the different choices. So let's start with read to self. So I'm going to click by tapping right there and look what happens. It takes you right to Raskit. And once you're in RAS Kids, you know what to do. You can click on Kids Login, or maybe you already have it bookmarked on your computer. And then you just find your icon and click to do your RAS Kids work. And that's all there is for Read to Self. So let's click out of this and then come back to our home screen. Now, let's look at Word Work. When you tap on word work, you are gonna to come to this amazing slide called Foundations Theater. And there's a whole lot of different things you can do on this slide. Let's tap right here at the top and look at what we see. Here is a Foundations lesson. Hi, first graders. Let's talk about food sounds by Mrs. Today. Ortiz. Glute sounds All have about three sound individual sounds. However, they are so the close together that they sort of sound like one sound. So after you watch the lesson, you can click out of it, come back to this slide, and then you will see all these computers that give you a chance to practice the different glued sounds. So I'm just going to click on INK, pink, ink, and see what happens. And it's going to bring me a video to a video that's going to help you practice. Turn and learn. I am a pink, pink. And you can do that with all of the computers on this slide. When you're finished with this slide, you can click on the more button to find some more word work. So let's do that. Here are some more word work lessons for glued sounds. And we are currently in week three, but there's no reason that you can't go back and review the week one and the week two skills that we learned, okay? So just like we did before, you'll click on the computer and you will get another mini lesson practicing our current foundations skills. And there's even more word work Let's click on the more arrow. And here are some trick words to practice. Now my suggestion is if you know all these trick words, then you don't need to practice them. But if you see a word here that you can't read, you should probably click on it and practice that trick word. You can also click up here to practice trick words that we've already had in some of our other units because you need to know all those trick words too. So let's keep going because that's not all. Here are even more trick words for unit seven and even more. And this is the end of our, and so you can click on these words to get directed to videos that will help you with these words. And that is the end of the word work part. So I'm gonna click right here. I know it's hard to see, but there's a pink house right here and that house stands for home. So when you click on it, it will take you back 
to the beginning of our daily five choices. So let's see, we've done read to self and word work. Now let's take a look at listen to reading. So I'm gonna click right here and it will take me to some choices for books. These are books that have to do with Happy New Year and you just click right on the book to listen to it. If you don't like any of those books or maybe you've already listened to them, you can click on the arrow to see more books. And here's more books and even more books. Now this is the end of the listen to reading part. So when you've listened to some of those books and you wanna go back to the first slide with all of the choices, just click on the pink house and it will take you right back to the first slide. And the last thing that we're gonna talk about is work on writing. So let's click there. And here we have a whole bunch of really fun writing prompts that you can write about in your first grade writing journal. And I'll just read a couple of them to you. This one says, write about something you did during the holiday break. This one says, write a real or fictional story about having a snowball fight with your family. And there's a whole bunch of other ones for work on writing. So I will click on the pink house to go back to the home key um, or to the home slide. You will find this slideshow every day to work on during the daily five in our daily schedule and daily assignments. Please ask your families to get in touch with me if they have any questions about how to use the slideshow. Hope you enjoyed learning about our new way to do the daily five. See you soon.